Today we are going to discuss about the shape of the head of the cephalic index. Cephalic index is the maximum skull width divided by maximum skull length. The maximum skull width is measured from the distance between ta tangent to the two parietal bones like this. Similarly, the uh, length of the skull is measured from the distance uh, between the tangent to the frontal and the occipital bones. It's measured from tangent to the frontal and the occipital bones. Based upon this, the cephalic index can be mesocephalic, dolicocephalic, brachycephalic, and hyperbrachycephalic. When the width of the skull is almost equal to the length of the skull, it is called mesocephalic. When the length of the skull is more than the width of the skull, it is called dolicocephalic. And when the width is comparatively larger than the length of the skull, it is brachycephalic. When the width of the skull is extremely larger than the length of the skull, it is called hyperbrachycephalic. Dolicocephalic patients have a very long and narrow face and the dental arch will be narrower. Brachycephalic patients will have a broader and short face and the dental arch will be more broader.